So we are here in our new state-of-the-art facility, the LLRC2. In our barn, we have 156 pens, and each pen can hold 36 pigs. The total facility holds 5,400 pigs. The research that we are doing here at the LLRC2 is swine nutrition research, specifically geared for nursery pigs. All three of our research facilities are commercial type barns, and that means that the results that we see here are applicable to our producers and to the swine industry. I think what makes our R&D program unique is a series of factors. First is the volume of research that we do. Each year, in our three research facilities that we have, we run 20 to 25 trials using a total of about 45,000 pigs total. And what that means is you can replicate treatments 8, 10, 12 times. And that is important when we're doing research because the larger the number of replicates you have in the treatment, the higher is your likelihood of finding those important statistical differences. Finally, we have state-of-the-art facilities with the best technology available to make sure the data we collect here is of the highest quality. We have a Big Dutchman feed system here in our barn, which allows us to feed our pens individually. So this way, we can feed one feed to one pen, a different feed to the next pen, and that allows us to conduct research here in our barn. In our water room, we have four different water lines. And that means that each pen can get one of four different water treatments. If we wanted to conduct a trial looking at a water treatment or a vaccine or something that we would administer in the water, we would have the ability to do up to four different water treatments. The facility is filtered as well. So all the air coming into the facility goes through HEPA filters to make sure that we're not bringing any external diseases from the outside, inside. We're doing everything that we can to protect the health of our pigs and make sure that whatever trial that we set up, we're not testing diseases from the outside that may, may enter in. I have the privilege of working with a great group of people here at Hubbard, and our R&D program is very much a team effort that involves the Hubbard Tech Team, the All Tech Tech Team, and the team here on farm that is in charge of the daily activities and the data collection. The research happening here at the LLRC2 is really vital for Alltech and its customers simply because it's really looking at these technologies and showcasing how applicable they are to everyday environments, giving our customers an inside look at how this can fit within their own scenarios. I think Hubbard and Alltech have a unique position within the industry given our research facilities that help us set apart our products from the rest of the industry. We have many years of research and data to back up the claims within our product portfolio. We also have a very strong swine technical team with many years of experience to draw on, and our team is very cohesive in how we work together. As a customer-focused company, our goal with our research program is always to develop the best possible program and solutions to our customers. And the ultimate objective there is to make their lives easier and increase their profitability. We also strive to share as much as possible of this knowledge with the swine industry and the scientific community. Research is important to Hubbard and Alltech because it's really core to us. It's part of our values. The research that we do helps uncover solutions for our customers. You know, what's new, not just what you did for me yesterday, but how are you going to help me in the future with the challenges that I have? What excites me about spine nutrition research is that you can run the same trial two, three, four times and sometimes get completely different answers. And I think this is really unique because then it kind of leads you down different research paths. And that's the beauty of research is this never ending cycle of answering questions and creating more questions. And here at Hubber, we're fortunate to have the ability and the structure to answer as many of those questions as possible to our customers and to the swine industry. Unfortunately, many people think that agriculture is part of the problem when it comes to climate change or sustainability. But actually, agriculture is part of the solution. And the research that we do here helps us 
utilize feed ingredients better, it helps us design better feeding programs, it helps our pigs be more productive, and it also helps with any other health challenges that they have so there's less antibiotics used. So we're actually part of the solution in, in better utilizing our resources and being sustainable and really looking ahead to a planet of plenty.